iCloud is Apple's service that syncs and stores data, making it available across all your devices. You can access it at any time from any device that is signed into iCloud. If we haven't met, I'm Ellen from Ellen's Tips for iOS, and I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find the video useful, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell so you never miss when a new video is posted. In most cases, you don't think about iCloud. It's just there in the background. But there may be times you want or need to sign into iCloud from a web browser to access some of your data and information. In this video, I'll show you how to access your iCloud data from a web browser and why you might need to do that. Let's get started. While iCloud is designed as a behind-the-scenes data service, there is a web interface that you can use to access your information and to even adjust some settings. Go to iCloud.com from your iPhone or iPad in your Safari web browser or the web browser of your choice. Enter your Apple ID and password. I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Once you've entered your Apple ID and password, you'll come to a window like this. The icons show you what data you can access from the iPad. Personal data such as your email, contacts, calendar, notes, and reminders. Your photos if you're using iCloud Photo Library. You'll see files that you have stored in iCloud Drive. You'll also have access to two tools to help you find your friends and your Apple devices. And there are some settings regarding your Apple ID and your devices as well. If you're viewing this from your iPhone on a web browser, you will have fewer options as you can see here. Using iCloud via a web browser gives you access to all of this data from any device. So if you've lost your iPhone or iPad, you can still access iCloud.com from any web browser, meaning you can locate your device using the Find My app. You have access to everything that is stored in iCloud, and you, so you can still send email and work on any files that you have stored in the cloud. This could be a lifesaver. For example, if you lose your phone or your iPad, tap on find iPhone, and here you'll see where all your devices are located. In fact, if you are traveling and need important files, it's a good idea to put them into iCloud in case something happens to your laptop or your phone. You'll be able to have a backup available from any computer. Let's take a look at what's available and how to access it. Let's take a look at account settings which is right below where it says, Good afternoon, Ellen. If I click on that, here I have an option to manage my Apple ID. I can also have a list here of all my devices that are signed in and using iCloud. If you're using family sharing, you will see that. And if you scroll down a little bit lower, you'll have an advanced section where you will have the option to restore files, contacts, calendars, and bookmarks. Let's come in to this advanced section and click on restore files. So it's searching for any file that would be recoverable within the last 30 days. So maybe you've deleted something and you realize that you need to keep it. You can come back in here and recover that file. If I click on Restore Contacts, you'll see a list of uh, dates where contacts have been archived. But just remember that when you select an archive to restore, you will replace those contacts that are already on your device. The same thing occurs if you choose to restore calendars. It gives you a list of dates you can choose to restore from that date but it will replace the calendar that's on your device. So you may lose some of your calendar uh, appointments. 
And then you can also choose to restore bookmarks if you have any stored on iCloud. When you're finished, go ahead and tap on Done. And then next to the Advanced section, there's a, a, a link that you can sign out of all the browsers that you're using in iCloud.com. I'm just going to tap on Cancel. And next to that is Manage Apps that can look you up, which allows people to use your Apple ID to look you up. So I'm going to tap on that. And as you can see, I have no apps that allow people to look me up via my Apple ID. If I come up here in the upper left hand corner where it says iCloud and settings and click on that, again, you're going to see a list of all of the apps that you can use in iCloud. And if you use them, they will sync across all your device, even though you're accessing them from um, iCloud.com. So if I come into my mail app, I can send and receive mail from here. If I tap on reminders, I can add a reminder and uh, it will sync uh, to my reminders app on my phone. I'll come back in. I can do the same with any of these apps. So go ahead and check out iCloud.com. Take a look at what you can do. I hope this video was useful. If it was, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.